Sakshi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How about you? Uh, I'm also fine. So, tell me something about yourself. Okay, so my name is Sakshi Gupta. I'm from Varanasi. Currently contributing my expertise at InnoCap. It's an investment management company. There, I serve as a senior representative platform operation analyst, leveraging my background in hedge fund and platform operations. With a nine month of work experience currently with InnoCap, I got the opportunity to explore with funds, uh, easy to medium or a little bit complex on the basis of complexity. And um, uh, coming to my academic background, I have done BCom in 2021 from Sunbeam College for Women with subjects like business management, finance, economics that has been uh, taught me about this foundation of business that can be implemented to attain sustainability, sustainability and uh, growth. Okay. So you you came from Valanasi, right? Yes. So tell me something interesting about your place. About Varanasi, um, it is one of the spiritual, it is the uh, spiritual capital of India. Also, it is one of the oldest uh, city. And uh, if we come about the name Varanasi, it has been, uh, the name has been uh, given by the Lord Shiva. It uh, Varanasi stands for other land between two different rivers, that is Varuna and Assi. So, uh, like the land on the northern side we have Varuna and on the southern uh, southern area of uh, UP we have this uh, Assi. So this is how the name has been emerged Varanasi. Okay. So what are the few places you would suggest someone who is vis uh, visiting Varanasi for the first time? So basically, uh, it's all as I told you, it's a spiritual capital. So mostly the temple because uh, Varanasi has been uh, like Varanasi has around two thousand temples uh, from world, which are among which it has uh, Kashi Vishnath. It is one of the uh, shivlings out of well, which we uh, which are famous. Apart from that, it has ghats. We have uh, like a sea ghat, eighty ghats, which have each stories so while um, while you board uh, like while you on boat so the person will tell you each and every story related to that particular ghat so ghat and uh, if you have heard about that arti so it is also uh, basically very famous so because of uh, tourism it has also it's now it's been uh, varanasi has been a uh, attracting place attractive place for tourism and recently it has been found that or more than um, like in, in compared to other cities, so, uh, like seven times people are coming to Varanasi. So yeah, it will, will be Ghat, as I told you, it will be temples. And apart from that, Varanasi near about it, it's Sarna. So yeah, mostly in temples and Sarna is the key places to visit Varanasi while you are keeping in your list while visiting Varanasi. Okay, that's nice. So you did your graduation in BCom, right? Uh, yes. Mm. So can you tell me how many nationalized bank are there in India? Nationalized bank in India, I think. Um, not so sure. Like bank in India. Which first is the bank. first bank? Hmm. To be established in India under the central government. SBI, not sure. Okay, no worries. So, which is your favorite subject in Bcom? My favorite su subject was in Bcom was uh, related to marketing management. Could be yeah, marketing management or. Okay, so hmm. tell me seven P's of marketing. The seven P's of marketing are price, uh, price, promotion, people, uh, product. Hmm. Price, promotion, people, product, a uh, prom. Uh, Okay, so okay, no worries, no worries. So tell me something which is so fascinating in marketing that you said that that is the favorite subject. So according to me, what uh, attracts me toward marketing is it's quite unique and it is also like customer oriented uh, field. So we are we get the opportunity to interact with consumers, uh, which. Uh, yeah, there we get, uh, it has most of creative, it is the most of cre uh, creative field, if we say. So we have to like uh, think and apply it, which is also give us, uh, and as I told you, it's uh, 
it provides a chance to interact with the customers okay so you can be an hr hr got more chance to interact with people yes but i think hr field is something uh, totally different because uh, as i said creativity and unique part will be absent from that particular field mm -hmm. okay so marketing is your favorite subject so tell me an advertisement which you like the most and why advertisement which i like the most need to think about it just a few seconds mm -hmm, so so anything like related to product that comes on television or on the billboards could be uh, interesting but apart for me i remember doing a task even for a chocolate uh, thing so <laughs> i know like for me it's like if you see a uh, if you see ads of a five star right right so it's quite a different like it's a chocolate ad but the way they present it and the slogans which they use is totally different so if you khao and khoja was the prior uh, uh, slogan for uh, kit kat so this is something that always like as of now i can uh, think about that particular ad only okay okay that's nice so you have 9 months of work experience right yes in which company inocap inocap so who is the ceo of inocap i don't remember his name like i don't know what is how many how many employees are there in your company uh my company employee size is around 250 to 300 uh, i still you are not aware of the ceo name there are no not much people uh no worries <clears throat> so what do your company do actually So my company is, as I told, it's an investment management company. It deals with hedge funds. So basically, yeah, hedge funds and collateral. So if a uh, hedge fund is something that pools the investors' money, and we apply like uh, it applies to generate revenue. So uh, my particular my profile is of monitoring the funds. We has been we as an analyst got funds, and we have to like monitor the portfolio portfolio and follow up with the client. stakeholders and with the prior analyst to make sure that everything is uh, going because whenever trade happens it's on both side right we in, there is two parties so we get the reports from both the side and we have to make sure like uh, that everything whatever happened in the prior date has to be same for both the parties this is my profile yes. is so why not finance is your favorite subject uh this is not a uh, finance is not prepared. because currently i'm already working fine i belong uh, i'm from a commerce background and i gave a uh, opportunity to this but as i said that this is something uh, becomes monotonous and uh, quite it's not that uh, creative or for, creative for me so uh, as priorly mentioned i believe that the investment banking banking is so creative Like yeah, you have but, the freedom. You have the freedom to invest money wherever you want. You just have to get the profit out of it. So this is the most creative thing one can do. Yes, truly. But uh, I think for investment banking as well, we need a particular background. As of now, I'm not serving in any investment banking com investment banking company because it requ the investment banking profile is totally different from my current profile because it needs a merger and acquisition and everything. But uh, true. But my profile is restricted only through hedge funds and monitoring the funds. So both are okay. two different profiles. Yeah. So you also mentioned that finance is monotonous to you. My current uh, roles and responsibilities seems monotonous to me. So if Not you are, finance. if you hmm. pursue your MBA in marketing, so hmm. then after after working for two, three, four years, you will say the same thing, and then again you will come back to MBA to do mark uh, MBA in HR or operations. and this will repeat for you no 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 definitely not since i think uh, working in marketing fields will itself uh, something i will going to see a uh, different different uh, like phrases so pursuing an mba and uh, like uh, twice will not be definitely not possible but i will look for a uh, different uh, roles which will like uh, basically i want to learn and explore so at that time also i will explore but within the limited field that is marketing Okay, so name any three or name or tell me any three things uh, which you feel that your company is not doing good, and 
three things which you feel like your company is doing very nice. Okay, so the three things starting with good things, my company doesn't have that much of um, like you have to be like available all the time since current, priorly I was uh, doing work from office, but right now I'm work from home. So it, it's totally depends upon my responsibility. They are they uh, in my current company. They just want my time like uh, I should complete my task. So this is the best thing. They don't have any kind of pressure like uh, extra pressures. Apart from this, second uh, thing that company is doing that they are we have a supportive teammate and uh, the seniors are also very down to earth and they get indulged with us, which I for me it seems a pretty good since they try to comfort us at every level. The third thing which my company is good at, uh, they kept on doing different different activities, so this seems to be a little good to me. Now coming to uh, things which I don't like about my company is. Uh, Mm -hmm. is I feel um, they should include more interactive session with different teams since we have two different teams like risk as well as accounting. I'm from operations. So so interacting with them will also be something we are going to learn. Right. So I think there should be because we are totally divided and we don't interact with that team. So I think that should something they should think about it. Apart from that, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, more interaction with the uh, like uh, more interaction, direct inter interaction with the onshores. Like uh, sometimes we are restricted since we are freshers and we don't have that much of work experience related to the uh, analysts who are uh, like working for five, six years. So we are sometimes restricted to directly deal with them. So this is something I feel that they should improve so okay. that we can also learn and come in front. front end. When was the company founded? My company. OK, so initially it was a part of BNY. Bank of New York. Later on in 2022, uh, BNY and Hedgemark were together. And later on, the it got separated. Inocap emerged and BNY, uh, Hedgemark and BNY came into picture in 2021. Okay. So hmm. why do you think that your company have so less employees, 300 accounts only? Since, as I told you that earlier, it was a part of BNY and because of the transition, few of the employees are still working with BNY, like BNY and few of them have joined InnoCap and currently they are hiring for new people. As I told you, it's got established in 2021 itself. Okay. Hmm. So who is governor of UP? Uh, governor of UP is um, Anandi Ben Patel. Okay, who is the CM of UP? Aditya, uh, Shri Aditya Yoginath, Yogi. You are adding Sri in the name of CM and not in the name of governor, why so? Or Sri or Sri Mati? You're Shri not... Mati, yeah, I should have said it, uh, not intentionally, it just... Okay. Them. Mm. So, what do you think, what is the population of UP? Population of UP, I think it must be around or tell the exact number because it's, any uh, approximate figure you are aware of no okay no worries so uh, can you name few of the zivers which are in up or yeah the uh, rivers so uh, uh, yaman ganga mm -hmm. and apart from that uh, gomti okay uh, Bumti, Ganga, and uh, there are a few more, but I can't uh, recall them now as of now. Okay, no worries. So, who is the finance minister of India? Uh, Srimati Nirmala Sitara. Finance yeah. minister of UP? Finance minister of UP? I don't know. Okay, no worries. Yep, so, okay, tell me your three weaknesses and three strengths. Okay, so uh, my first, uh, as an individual, uh, I'm someone who is curious to learn. I have a positive mindset and uh, I have that accountability to complete my task in a desired way that has been asked and completed in the like given time frame. So I'm accountable and uh, 
like i have a positive mindset my mindset and uh, yeah and uh, in coming to my weaknesses i think i am someone who is too emotional and <clears throat> would easily trust someone and can't say no to anybody who is asking for help and also i think that i'm overthinking which is which i am always already like working upon it by doing meditation and being mindful apart from that uh, yeah these are to my these are my two weaknesses okay so hmm what are the current happenings around the world which have like took your attention this is something great happening okay so give me a second to think i'm not aware of this okay no worries so which is your dream college you are looking for dream college which i'm looking for so mm-hmm. definitely um okay uh the i'm look can you please skip the question because i'm not prepared for this dream call the interviewer is going to ask sorry mm okay so uh tell me something uh unique about you that we should give you admission and not other applicants okay so i think i possess a unique blend of quality that is, sets me apart from other candidates is like uh, i have um, i have been as i said i am accountable i have experience ownership as uh, in my current profile i have been doing follow ups with the stake uh, stakeholders clients and analysts and uh, that is something has been already taken done, done by me i am someone who is detail oriented and result oriented so i'm someone who goes in the depth of the work and tries to fulfill it also i will th- i think i am agile because uh, because of current scenarios i'm able to work in uh, w- because of current changing things i'm able to adapt it easily and uh, try to produce 100% of uh, productivity and uh, yep so any one reason why should we not take you if uh, yeah so if uh, uh, why should not uh, why you should not take me since if you find more suitable candidate than me for your b school and definitely you should not take me okay so do you think that you are not the like suitable position for us in my vision definitely i am one of the uh, deserving candidate for your b school but uh, every every candidate poses some pros and like qualities so if somebody ha- owns better than me then definitely he should deserve a chance so if i say that every other applicants owns better than you then you are rejected right uh, no because i also have a few of the qualities that uh, see that makes me different from them then definitely i get i definitely deserve a chance okay so can you tell me what is the square of 13 what is this the square of 13 it's um 26 169 okay. <laughs> okay, i'm going to try to thank you <laughs> going to so the unexpected question mm mm-hmm. so how was your experience my experience was pretty good uh, since i was not prepared for most of the current affair part so i think that i need a lot of attention in that Mm-hmm. apart from that that b school question which you asked me was something i didn't understood at the moment because i think like whether you are asking i have like for that particular question uh, for that particular question i just wanted to know like whether i have to like uh, uh, tell all the things related to that particular institute right so that was something um, at i was not able to but you know ki aap maan lo cap call de rahe ho aapke paas abc ki bhi call hai aap cap call mein ye thodi bol sakte ho ki nahi green college to bas cap call hi hai abc to chhod gaya honge राइट 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 जो सच है वो बोल देना होता है अगर इतना फंस रहे हैं तो 
So I will give you overall uh, over the review of your PI. Hmm. Personal awareness is good. मतलब इस पेट के बारे में किसने की नॉलेज है जहाँ से आप हो वो अच्छा था इंटरेस्टिंग भी था सो दैट इज गुड बी कॉम करके मार्केटिंग बोलना पहली बात वहीं पे बहुत बड़ा फ्लॉ है आपको वो बाय डिफॉल्ट फाइनेंस बोलना पड़ेगा और मार्केटिंग बोल फिर आंसर नहीं कर पाना दूसरा बहुत बड़ा गलती है मार्केटिंग बोला चलो एक बार के लिए सही है पर डिफेंड तो कर पाओ खुद को सेवन पीस नहीं पता है मार्केटिंग बोल रहे हैं पता चल जाएगा कि फाइनेंस से क्वेश्चन से बचने के लिए आप ये मूव कर रहे हो दिख रहा है दैट इज विजिबल फाइनेंस कंपनी में काम करते हो मार्केटिंग बोल रहे हो उसका आंसर नहीं कर पा रहे हो ताकि फाइनेंस में ना जाए तो ऐसा नहीं होगा कभी नहीं होगा बी कॉम सुनते फाइनेंस के क्वेश्चन बहुत सारे आने वाले हैं उसके लिए तैयार होना मार्केटिंग पहला बात तो आई विल से कि अवॉइड करो बोलना पहले फाइनेंस बोलो टैक्सेशन बोलो ऑडिटिंग बोलो कुछ भी बोल दो यार पर फाइनेंस का होना चाहिए दो थिंग है आप जॉब कर रहे हो उसी फील्ड में और आपने तीन साल ग्रेजुएशन किया है उसमें आप आउट ऑफ नो वेयर मार्केटिंग नहीं बोल सकते हो सीधा कि नहीं मार्केटिंग करना है क्योंकि और आप बोलो चलो अच्छी बात है बोल रहे हो फिर आप तैयार हो खुद डिफेंड करने के लिए उस पर बोला है तो आई कैन आंसर द थिंग्स हमारे तो एक बार के लिए भूल सकते हैं तो ये बीस आपका सॉरी वर्क नॉलेज का ठीक ठाक था डिसेंट और थोड़ा और सीईओ का नाम पता होता और तो अच्छा होता बट वर्क्स जनरल अवेयरनेस अगेन ठीक है जीके इज गुड इंप्रूवमेंट चाहिए लाइक इस तरह की पॉपुलेशन क्या है वगैरह वगैरह गवर्नर का नाम क्या है आपने सर बताया था ना तो जब भी नाम पूछे तो यार ध्यान रखो मिस्टर मिसेस श्रीमान श्रीमती लगाने का अगर दोनों में लगाना भूल गए तो तब भी ठीक है एक बार के लिए एक में लगा एक में नहीं लगाया तो बहुत बड़ा ब्लैंगर है कि ऐसा क्या है कि जो गवर्नर नहीं लगा रहे हो उसी में लगा रहे हो शुर, तो इसका ध्यान रखना या तो दोनों मत बोलो एक बार एक ही बार सॉरी बोल दो कि भूल गई कोई बात नहीं एक में लगाना नहीं भूल एक में भूल गए बहुत बड़ा ब्लैंगर है करेंट अफेयर सभी के लिए बोल है एक भी चीज आप नहीं बता पाए जो अभी हुआ है काफी चीजें हुई है इतने वार्ड चल रहे कोई एक वार्ड का नाम ले लो यार तो दैट इज अ थिंग प्रैक्टिकल थिंग में कॉलेज वाले पूछता बड़ा आपने पहले ही बोला कि नहीं पता फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऐसा पॉज कर नहीं बोलते हैं कि प्रिपेयर नहीं किया मत पूछा वो काफ़ी ज़्यादा अनप्रोफेशनल था पी में गलती से किया तो वहीं कॉल काट लेंगे आपका आगे सुनेंगे भी नहीं होता है फ्लो में कभी कभी आ जाता है कि हाँ ठीक है निकल जाता है तो उस पर बहुत बड़ा कंट्रोल चाहिए लॉजिकल थिंकिंग इज थिंकिंग इज गुड सो यस इंटरपर्सनल स्किल इज गुड पर अगेन यार स्माइल कर लो थोड़ा ऐसा बहुत सीरियस फील हो रहा है आपकी बहुत सीरियस है एकदम मोनोटोनस आपको मोनोटोनस फाइनेंस नहीं है सो so, उसका ध्यान रखो थोड़ा स्माइल रखो यार कि हाँ ठीक है यार पी आई है ऐसे आप सक्र बना के बैठोगे लगे कि इंटरेस्टेड ही नहीं है फर्स्ट ऑफ और लगे नर्वस है मे बी तो अगर आप स्माइल कर सकते हो तो करो सही में नर्वस हो तो कोई बात नहीं चलेगा चलो यार उनको ही पता है कि आप पी आई दे दो एक समय के लिए वो कहते हैं एक सोके यू कैन हैव सम टाइम एग्रिंग कॉल करें वो चलता है उतना एक्सेप्टेड होता है बट अगेन यार स्माइल करते रहो वो अच्छा होगा थ्रू थ्रू आउट बी स्कूल अवेयरनेस में पूछ नहीं पाए आपने पहले मना कर दिया कि नहीं पढ़ा है अगेन एम बी अवेयरनेस आपने मार्केटिंग बोल के वहाँ बहुत बड़ा ब्लैंगर किया है उसका ध्यान रखो तो यहाँ भी मार्क्स नहीं मिलेंगे क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग इज गुड आपने अगेन जो आंसर किया ना वाई सुड बी नॉट टेक यू वो सबको पता है वो आंसर पूरी दुनिया को याद है तो वो तो मत बोलो यार कुछ का नया बना लो वो मुझे पता था क्वेश्चन पूछने से पहले वही बोलने वाले हो ये अगर कोई अच्छा व्हाट शुड बी सेड इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट कि आप अपना लाइक फिर आप फिर वो बोलेंगे अगर आप में ये है तो आप लाइक उसको हाईलाइट करेंगे राइट तो इसका सेफर ये बोल सकते हो कि सर इन अ बेस स्कूल देयर आर मल्टीपल टाइप्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट कमिंग फ्रॉम ईच बैकग्राउंड एंड आई फील दैट आई हैव सम एक्सपर्टीज व्हिच मेक मी स्टैंड आउट फ्रॉम दोस और ऐसा पहले खुद की तारीफ ही करो कितना बोले कि यार बता दो बुराई खुद की तारीफ करो स्किल लास्ट के बोलो स्किल इफ यू थिंक बैक इन द प्रेफर्ड डोमेन इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर समवन हु इज नॉट समवन हु इज अ बेटर प्रोफाइल फिट एंड दैट इज नॉट मी देन यू कैन लुक अपॉन अदर कैंडिडेट्स बट आई फील दैट आई हैव सम स्किल्स आई हैव आई हैव आई प्रोसेस सम नॉलेज और लाइक दैट कि आपको मुझे लेना चाहिए आप इसे खत्म नहीं कर सकते हो कि ठीक है सर किसी और को ले लो कोई बात नहीं मैं जाती हूं तो उस पे खत्म नहीं होना चाहिए स्टार्ट ही होना चाहिए कि ठीक है सर पहले तो मैं प्रेफर्ड होंगी 
पर अगर आपको लगता है कि इस प्रोफाइल के लिए कोई और चलेगा तो आप मे भी उसको ले लो फिर खत्म भी उस पर करना है कि स्किल आई फील आई हैव लाइक स्किल्स कि अगर को उस प्रोफाइल को चाहिए तो आई आई एम द पर्सन मुझे लो मींस ऐसा कोई पर्टिकुलर वो नहीं मेंशन करना है राइट अपनी वीकनेस की आई एम दिस और आई एम दैट समथिंग लाइक दैट आप खुद बोल के आ जाओगे कि ये कमी है तो क्यों लेंगे भाई एग्जैक्टली हां हां आई ट्राई टू आंसर बट हां थोड़ा स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर में उसको मतलब अगेन स्टार्ट करो कि ठीक है सर मतलब आपको आई अंडरस्टैंड योर रिक्वायरमेंट बट आई एम द पर्सन मुझे लो ना जैसे बच्चे चाहिए तो गॉट इट गॉट इट एटीट्यूड अच्छी है मतलब ऐसा कुछ और तो हाँ बॉडी मूवमेंट्स काफ़ी हो रही थी आप तो उसका ध्यान रखना लाइक ऐसे भी हिलना नहीं चलता है तो अच्छे से सीधा बैठना और फ्रेम के बीच में बैठे प्रॉपर सो ओवर लाइफ विल रेक दिस फाइव क्योंकि काफ़ी जगह बहुत मार्जिन है बहुत बहुत मार्जिन है आई विल मैं अगेन अकेडमिक्स गोल है अभी तक के लिए जनरल अवेयरनेस ठीक ठाक है करेंट अफेयर्स अवेयरनेस बिल्कुल गोल है आपने कुछ आंसर किया ही नहीं तो जज करना पॉसिबल नहीं है क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग आपने पूछ नहीं नहीं दिया तो अभी के लिए गोल मानता हूँ मैं उसको लॉजिकल थिंकिंग इज गुड इनका पर्सनल स्किल इज नाइस बी स्कूल अवेयरनेस इज अगेन क्वेश्चन मार्क पूछ नहीं नहीं दिया आपने एम बी अवेयरनेस इज नॉट गुड एम बी ए के आपने मार्केटिंग बोला और आपने उस पर खराब कर दिया सो दैट इज नॉट गुड आपसे जो पूछा आपने पूछा था ग्रीम स्कूल के बारे में तो वो बी लॉजिकल अगर आप कैब कॉल्स इंटरव्यू दे रहे हो यू हैव द कॉल्स ऑफ ए बी सी ब्लैकी ब्लैक ही बोलना ये नहीं कि आज जिस कॉलेज चले उसका बस नाम गाले यहाँ बस यहीं आना है उनको पता है यार झूठ बोल रहे हो आप जैसे एक्सल वाई के इंटरव्यू में मुझसे पूछा था कि विच विच इज योर बेस्ट कॉल तो मैंने बोला सर एक्सल वाई है पर ये नहीं हुआ तो एक्साइम में जाऊँगा सॉरी एक्साइम में ही पूछा था एक्साइम में ही पूछा था तो उस समय रिजल्ट नहीं आए थे मैं बोला सर अगर एक्सल वाई मिला तो ऑफकोर्स वहाँ जाऊँगा देट इज ऑबियस नहीं मिला तो दिस इज माई सेकेंड बेस्ट कॉल तो जरूरी नहीं मैं ये नहीं बोल सकता ना कि सर एक्सल वाई छोड़ के एग्जाइम भी आऊँगा दैट मेक्स नो सेंस तो ये कोई लाइक बैकफायर तो नहीं करेगा लाइक इफ यू आर सिटिंग फॉर दिस एंड टेकिंग एन अदर कॉलेज नेम अगर आप एग्जाइम के अंदर बोलोगे सर एक्सरसाइज छोड़ के एग्जाइम भी आऊंगे तो वो बैकफायर करेगा क्योंकि दैट इज नॉट मेकिंग एनी सेंस कोई एक्सेल छोड़ के एग्जाइम में क्यों आएगा कोई आई में अहमदाबाद छोड़ के अमृतसर क्यों जाएगा तो थोड़ा लॉजिकल आप ये बोल सकते हो दिस इज बेस्ट सेकंड बेस्ट कॉल पहले तो चलो जो सच है वो बता दो यार दिस इज सेकंड बेस्ट कॉल हाँ अगर ये क्लोज है लाइक ए बी सी में ही आप इंटरव्यू दे रहे हो और ए पूछता है तो आप बोलो हाँ ए बी पूछता है बी बोलो सिमिलर लेवल पे है तो उसको बोलो पर अगेन बहुत मार्जिन है डिफरेंस है तो ऑब्वियस है भाई उसको दिखे जाएगा झूठ बोल रहे हो आप बस दिल सुस्त मन मतलब मन रखने के लिए सर आपका इंटरव्यू आपका नाम ले लेते हैं तो वो नहीं सो दिस इज फॉर माई पार्ट आपको जो लगे आप पूछ सकते हो हाँ तो मेरा लाइक मोस्टली आई नीड टू कवर ऑन करेंट अफेयर्स बेसिकली वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन एंड लिटल बिट मोर ऑन जनरल जनरल अवेयरनेस एंड ये आप तो बी स्कूल के रिगार्डिंग की इफ है तो उसका आंसर आपने मेरे को बता ही दिया कि क्या ही करना बोलना चाहिए सिंस आई वॉज नॉट एट एट ऑल प्रिपेयर फॉर इट या सो गुड सो थैंक यू